Hello, it is November 31st. I was about to be like, it's December 1st, it's Christmas time, but I'm actually filming this on November 30th. Thanksgiving is over, which means we're officially in Christmas mode, and today's just gonna be a little vlog, a little day in my life, but it's gonna be Christmas filled. My plan is to go to Target, buy a bunch of Christmas decor, decorate for Christmas, start reading a Christmas book. Oh my gosh, I did my like 30 book book haul of Christmas winter books, and I haven't started any of them, and I'm really excited to start at least one of them today. Maybe wrap some presents, I feel like. Just have like a Christmas filled day. That's what this video is gonna be. I'm going to Target. Bye. Can you be mine for Christmas? I feel like the Target Christmas decor kind of lacking, at least at this store. The true Christmas section. I was in the wrong spot. I love when they have like 3D things on them. Very fun. Christmas tree or Santa, I don't know. The way I have a million blankets but want to buy more. I don't know the purpose of these giant bows, but I want one for no reason. Do we need a wreath? You're right, we have absolutely nowhere to hang a wreath, okay. I just got out of Target and I got so much good stuff. I'm gonna wait and do a little haul for you guys until I get back to my apartment because Danny is at home working and he doesn't know what I got. So I wanna like call him over when I show you guys and him what I got at the same time. I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble next and not buy any books because I have so many books. I might just like look around at their Christmas books just for fun, but mostly why I'm there is because they have a Starbucks inside Barnes and I wanna read a Christmas book. I feel like that's what I need for the Christmas mood and I brought a Christmas book with me i brought love light farms which has 4.21 stars on goodreads that's so high especially for a christmas book and this book is friends to lovers it's about this girl and in an effort to save the christmas tree farm that she's loved since she was a kid she enters a contest that has a hundred thousand dollar cash prize but to make the farm seem like a romantic destination for the holidays she lies on the application and says she owns the farm with her boyfriend luca peters who is not her boyfriend but is her best friend and that sounds so cute Let's go into Starbucks. They're playing Christmas music. I'm so happy. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth through Dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Sand and air. You guys I just got out of Barnes and somebody needs to take my credit card away. Like you guys know, I just did buying 30 books for Christmas. Do I need to purchase more books? No, no. Did I purchase more books? Yes. I, I bought books, plural, plural books. I just bought two books, oh my gosh. But 
Barnes was having a buy one get one 50% off on really popular books so I was like I'm gonna buy these books at some point might as well buy them when they're on sale right so maybe I'm being responsible by purchasing books on sale we're gonna go with that I got Twisted Love by Anna Huang I actually do not know what this book is about at all but I've just like heard so many people talk about this series and Alexa Ray recommended me this book so I was like I trust her recommendation I trust the world's recommendation of this series and I'm buying it and then for this second book I got the second book in the series Twisted Games I have never ever bought the second book in a series before reading the first book it's like my rule because like what if I don't like the series there's no point on buying the other books in the series but I just went for it today I went for it and I got the first and second ones and then if that wasn't enough purchasing I also got a puzzle a Christmas puzzle but it's for my mom I'm gonna wrap it up and give it to her for Christmas we always do a puzzle together every single year when I'm home for Christmas so we can do it together okay let's Let's head back to my apartment before I spend any more of my money. Is there a recording? Yeah. If I see one comment on your video about uh, us drinking LaCroix and that we're like a little snobbish, I'm gonna expose you on the internet. Hey, don't say us. I don't drink LaCroix. Expose you on the internet. That sounds like that's a little harsh. Yeah, you're the one drinking <laughs> LaCroix. I'm the one exposing you for the LaCroix. You can't expose me. Oh my gosh. This is literally a nightmare. Are you ready to see all the Christmas decor? Oh, let's do it. First of all, I got this pillow. A lot of the pillows were like 3D. Like It's like actually soft. He's got some uh, really nice rosy cheeks. Yeah. Built like an egg. <laughs> Are you calling Santa an egg? I got a Santa hat because this weekend you have something to do now. We're gonna take Christmas pictures. We'll take them in the apartment. It's okay. I have a plan. Oh, nice. Next pillow. It says peace. Okay. It's a good color. I'll give it that. You don't like it? It's okay. It's a little frilly, but I think the green will go really good on the orange. It was orange 3D, couch. so I liked it. Yeah. No, it's very you. I like having it around. It reminds me of you, but it's not stuff I would put up. Okay. The whole time I was shopping, I was like, man, I'm really going with like a red and green palette. Like I'm like curating this palette. And then I was like, oh, that is Christmas colors. There is no other palette. Hey, you understood the assignment. <laughs> so true. Surprise, not decor, an activity. Oh, we were just talking about building gingerbread houses the other day. Yeah, but it's four houses. So I thought it'd be fun. We could do like a competition. Wait, what if we refilm my gingerbread uh, reaction? I feel like I had a really disappointing reaction. To this? Uh-huh. Okay. I want to be a little happier. And scene. Wait, that's, that's the end of the scene, isn't it? You can say action. Okay, action. Okay. And action. I got a gingerbread house. Nice. I, I don't know how to react. How do you react to a gingerbread set? That was good. Nice. This is just practical, but I got tags like for presents. I got um, towels, gingerbread towels. What cute little dudes. Makes me want to watch Shrek. Do you reference Shrek memes? Do I reference Shrek memes? I mean, no. Like you do in real life? I don't reference Shrek memes in real life. This is pure slander. <laughs> You're just making this up. I am. Grab the paper. Green. Nice. Very Shrek. So, uh, yeah. The big surprise that I didn't expect to get is a tree. It's not like super huge. It's like three feet, I think. No, this is great. I feel like we need a tree desperately. Yeah. And like when you put little ornaments on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're kind of big. Oh, um, yeah. maybe it was a mistake. I don't know if those sizes really match up. Your reaction as if I went shopping and got them. Okay, so we're <laughs> improv now? We're improv. I want to see how you'd react. Okay. Okay. And then uh, I I got the tree, so I had to get ornaments. Oh my gosh, ornaments! Wow. No, I killed it. Okay, and then next. Oh, uh huh. Of course, it wouldn't be Christmas without a Christmas themed doormat. It's upside down. Hey, that's all the Christmas decor. Do you want to decorate with me? That's it. I also forgot that I never updated you guys on my thoughts on Love Light Farm so far. It's really cute so far. I read a page 32 in Barnes and I completely wasn't thinking that, that the main character, like I said, asked her best friend to pretend to be her boyfriend so we have fake dating. That is like one of my favorite tropes. I literally read the summary and like wasn't clicking that it's fake dating and I'm so excited for them to get to the fake dating part. She is about to ask her friend if he can be her pretend boyfriend. Like what is his reaction gonna be? I don't know. But I'm gonna read for like 20 minutes and then me and Danny are going to yoga.
I'm about to go to yoga, so that's why I'm in workout clothes, but I read more of the book and I really like it. I love how it's not super Christmassy, like it takes place on a Christmas tree farm and I'm assuming it's gonna get to like Christmas day and stuff eventually. But other than that, yeah, it's not like super, super Christmassy. I was kind of scared reading Christmas books for the first time this year that they were all gonna be like super cheesy, like Hallmark movie Christmas vibes, which there's nothing wrong with, but I just didn't want all my December reads to be like cheesy Christmas books. I'm gonna go do yoga with Danny and then I'll see you guys afterwards for some Christmas present wrapping. And I'll show you guys everything I got for my parents and Danny. Yoga! Let me show you guys all the presents that I got. So starting with Danny at Target, I got him a $15 Starbucks gift card. He's here obviously, so I don't want him to hear what I'm saying. He mostly makes coffee at home, but he loves to like treat himself by going to Starbucks. So I thought this would be fun for him. Then from Paxson, I got him this shirt. Oh, this is cool. This is the first time I'm seeing it. He loves like hiking and camping. So it's a Yellowstone shirt. And I thought the colors and everything were really cool. And then Danny is an old man. He loves going to concerts, but he hates like how loud they are, especially because we always try and get like up by the stage and stuff. So I got him earplugs so he can go to concerts and not harm his ears and complain that concerts are too loud. And then lastly for Danny, it hasn't come yet, but I got him a jacket from ASOS and it's like really, really his style. So I'm excited. I feel like he's gonna love it. And and yeah, that's all of Danny's gifts. And then for my mom, I got the puzzle as you guys saw. And then my mom loves baking. And specifically, she started getting into bread making lately and I was Googling and Etsy has baking kits, which I think is so fun. I feel like even if someone isn't like super into baking, it's still like just a fun universal gift. I feel like everyone loves sweets and like an easy way to make desserts at home. And the baking kits came in these cute little boxes. I got two. This one is Swedish cardamom buns and the second one is a Chalal bread kit. So they're like DIY, it has all the ingredients and instructions and it's super easy just to make it yourself. And also I'll have everything that I'm showing you guys linked down below if you guys see anything and you're like, ooh, someone I know would love this as a gift, then yeah, I'll have the links for you guys. What is in here? What did I get from Urban Outfitters? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, I forgot I ordered this. My mom loves Disney and she has like this like favorite Mickey shirt, but it has been looking a little old and worn recently. So I got her a new Mickey shirt. And then I also got my dad a bunch of gifts that are being shipped to my parents' house. And I got my mom a few more gifts that are also being shipped to my parents' house. And then lastly, I got myself a gift because it's Black Friday and I was like, I have to, so, you know, treat yourself for Christmas. And I got this Sweater from Princess Polly. Ooh, I think this is so cool. This is my first time also seeing it. I'll put like a clip of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like on. This is my first time ever purchasing anything from Princess Polly. And I feel like this is really unique and cool. So I will definitely be getting more Princess Polly items. But yeah, that's all the gifts that I have that have come in. So let's get wrapping. Just finished doing the first two presents and I also just realized I didn't get any bows like for the top of a present. So all my presents are gonna be bowless. I might get some another day, but for now they're gonna look a little bit sad.